What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about all of my baby must have and favorites. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, there's a lot of things on my list. I am a first time mom, so let's go ahead and get into it. I definitely had to write this down because of mom brain. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my breast pumping situation. I am trying to do things as natural as possible. So breastfeeding was kind of a non-negotiable for me. Breast pumps are a must have even if you plan to exclusively pump. I just had too much of a milk production and ended up getting mastitis because I was not draining my breast completely. I wish somebody would have told me, because I'm not gonna tell what you would do. I wish somebody told me that even if I was exclusively breastfeeding to get a pump because of mastitis, also for storage and for later. The two pumps that I recommend are the LV and the Spectra S1. The LV is great. It's something that I used in the beginning and I actually haven't used it in the last like two two, two and a half months. But the Spectra is great because you can just put it into your breasts or into your bra and walk around the house super free. And then the Spectra S1 specifically is great because for me it extracts much more milk from my breasts as well as the features of being able to change the speed as well as the amount of pressure and then it also has a timer so you can make sure that you are pumping for a total of 30 minutes. I will also say that the light, the light comes in clutch in the middle of the night for the night feeds or the night pumping or the night changing and things like that. My Spectra S1 light actually went out so I had to buy a new Spectra. The Spectra S1 when the light went out it made a world of a difference and it's a small feature but it makes a world of a difference because when you don't have that light and it's the middle of the night it's just hard to navigate. So those for sure would be on my top five must-haves for breastfeeding moms. Next, I'm gonna go into my Bugaboo Donkey 3, and I will say trying to find a stroller as well as a car seat, it honestly gave me a headache. Um, you moms, before I was part of the mom crew, like, you guys don't play, and it was almost like borderline cultish is the way people <laughs> that's a little extra but like the way people go hard for their mom products i'm definitely on that side now but i was just like learning all these baby this baby lingo with like bugaboo donkey bugaboo turtle bugaboo one bugaboo luna this and up a baby it was just like this is a this is a full course so I'm gonna just tell you, if you are a traveling mom, if you are a mom of two, or if you want to be a mom of two, if you have cousins, friends, or anything like that, the Bugaboo Donkey 3, just get the stroller. One thing that I love about the stroller is it it's interchangeable with everything. So if you get the car seat, then you can put the car seat into the stroller, and then it also has the bassinet, and then it also has like the toddler seat, and then if you plan to have two kids or you got a friend or a cousin who's gonna be rolling around for the day, you can convert it into a two baby, two toddler stroller combination. And I will also say if you are just rolling around and it's just you and your baby, you have like a little diaper bag or even a shopping cart area. I swear every time I go out in my stroller, people are looking at it like, it's almost like a mom thing to do to look at other people's stroller. But I get so many compliments when I go out in this. And to be honest, it's super easy to just put it in your trunk. You do have to make sure that your trunk is more on the empty side because although it is small and compact, it um, when I put it in my car trunk, I find that it's just much easier if it's just empty. So some of my favorite things, like I said, is it's interchangeable, the car seat, can go into the car and go straight onto the stroller without having to wake up your baby or move your baby. For walks, you can use the bassinet and the bassinet has a canopy and you can even flip the bassinet to look at you or to look out into the walk even though the baby can't really see. The bassinet is also good for when you're at the park. You can just literally put it in the grass. It just makes everything interchangeable. They basically repurpose all of their parts to make different parts. So the bassinet ring actually converts into a toddler seat. If you have extra kids that you borrow in for the day or if you have kids of your own, you can just extend it out. <laughs> I'm just kidding, this is a little bit of mom humor. But yeah, when I had my cousin over and I had my son, I just extended it out and it was easy to just travel with that. 
And the Buckaboo Donkey 3 is just, it's the one and only, it's all you need and it's gonna grow with you and you can use it. And it's, even though it is a little bit of a splurge, you will never have to get another stroller. When you have a second kid, you won't have to get another stroller. You don't have to get another stroller when they're a toddler versus a baby or when the car seat doesn't work anymore or the weight limit for the car seat exceeds. It's honestly, Bugaboo, sponsor me, please, because I done bought two people Bugaboo Donkey 3s at this point because I love it so much. And if any of my friends have a baby, I'm definitely giving gifting them a Bugaboo Donkey 3. So I will then also say the Bugaboo Donkey 3 car seat is also a must have because it converts with the stroller. But I will say that I also need a fan because it is very thick and I think it's gonna be great for the winter time. My baby's back gets very, very hot. So getting a fan is a must have because I just pop it on the car seat and then my baby is good to go with airflow on his back because I don't know, in my opinion, I don't think that the fabric on the car seat is very breathable, but getting the fan from Amazon is just like a quick little thing. And you can just change it onto the bassinet, the car seat, the toddler seat, just just, just get the fan. The next are diapers, not just diapers, but D-Y-P-E-R. These diapers are a little bit on the expensive side, but I promise you they have sales literally every single day. I stocked up when they were on sale for 50% off. 296 diapers for $44. They are super wide. My baby doesn't pee outside of the diaper on correctly. They're plain, so they don't have all the prints. If you're the person who likes prints, then you know, you can you can have that. I personally don't prefer all of the prints on the diapers, so they're just plain and they also do have the wetness indicator and these are sustainable, eco-friendly bamboo diapers and they're super 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 soft. That's one of my favorite things about them. They're very soft and my baby can move in them. And I just, I love these diapers. I've only tried two diapers, Honest and these. Honest was great, but these hands down are my favorite. Next is a Docketot slash Snuggle Me. So I used both the Docketot and the Snuggle Me for the first like three months. They were must haves. My baby loved Docketot and the Snuggle Me. Docketot and Snuggle Me definitely allow me to get a little bit more sleep because my baby just loved to take naps in both the Docketot and the Snuggle Me and they were definitely must haves, especially within the first two months. The best bottles in all of the baby land is Como Tomo. Como Tomo bottles are the best. My baby started holding his bottle all by himself when he was about three months. And I think it has everything to do with just like, the style of this bottle is great. It's soft, it's squeezable, it mimics a breast. The wide nipple really helped my baby with our latching relationship. Once I started feeding him consistently with the Como Tomo bottles, I felt like he was able to latch on much better. And it's an easy transition from bottle to breast and bottle to breast. So those definitely change the game for our breastfeeding relationship as well. And then I will say the OXO bottle dryer. Honestly, this was a huge adjustment, but when you're pumping, there's just so many <laughs> parts. And having this is just something that's sleek. It doesn't look, I mean, it just still kind of depends on how, you, I don't like anything on the counter. I love and appreciate all the cute, fun colors that baby products have. This is sleek and it just looks good next to my sink and it's functional and it works and it holds all of my um, pumping parts and my bottles and it's definitely a must have for me. I actually have two of them on the side of my sink. And then I will say the Dapple Soap. Dapple Soap is a eco-friendly, clean, gentle bottle cleanser and it's the only soap that I've actually used. It is a must have to clean your baby's bottles. And then with that, a bottle brush. A bo this bottle brush by OXO is great because it has two separate parts. The smaller part is great for cleaning the nipple and then inside the pump for all of the little nooks and crannies that the pumps actually have. And then the larger part is obviously great because it gets right into the bottle and it cleans everything out perfectly. Okay, next is a pacifier. I'm telling you, I was trying to do everything natural. I was trying to not have my baby dependent on too much until I realized my baby was dependent on everything that had to do with me. My son used my nipple as a pacifier and it was intense the first two weeks to where my baby would not be put down unless I was holding him or he was latched on. 
I gave him a pacifier and it changed the game, changed my life. I was able to get rest. And although I loved all of the skin to skin and the snuggling, the pacifier just allowed me to have a little bit more independence so that I can show up and be more present for my son. I use two different uh, pacifiers, but this one that I'm linking here, I don't even know the brand of it. It's like DG, has been my baby's favorite pacifier by far. Now getting into clothes. I did a lotus birth and one thing I did not consider was my son's umbilical cord was going to be attached to him and that only meant that I could have him in certain clothes. So Lulu has a lot of my favorite things. I love their two pieces, I love their swaddle sets, and I love their gowns those, and their blankets. Their blankets, their thick blankets are a must have. Honestly, they have overall a really good range of baby products. They are on the pricier side, but I promise they wash super well and you can use them and use them over and over and over and over and over again and they're gonna be soft, breathable, and just amazing. I actually bought like three of the Lulu sets and just rotated them. I just had my baby in Lulu a lot just because I love the fabric rather than having like hundreds of, you know at baby showers how you get a lot of stuff. But the quality isn't that good. I opted more for quality pieces than quantity and Lulu was definitely up on the list. So the two piece sets were great for Lotus birth because my baby's umbilical cord could be out and there was no disruption with having like a gown or a onesie on. It's something I did not think of at all that I wish I would have or I wish somebody would have shared with me because we ended up washing the same two piece every day because we only had two of them. Yeah, that was just a struggle. So the Lulu two pieces, the thick fuzzy blankets, the swaddle newborn sets with the beanies. One of the best baby product clothing brands that I have tried thus far. Next is my baby wearing wrap. Honestly, I don't know what I would have done without this. Wearing your baby is the best thing that you can do or the best thing that I could do to be functional around the house while he was taking naps. I also used to walk around with him with this, take him on walks with this. I still wear him on me with the same exact wrap because it's great to just do dishes and be hands-free. Baby wearing might seem super intimidating, but once you get the hang of it, it's very easy and it's definitely a must have for me even still. And one thing I really love about it is you can just fit into your diaper bag. And whenever I take him on walks, I always make sure to have it because if he ever gets fussy or I need to breastfeed him or I need to bottle feed him, wearing him and having the bottle here and being able to configure it where um, his head can be down. It just honestly, wear your baby. Just, just wear your baby. Diaper bag. I watch so many videos on the best diaper bag to get, I feel like everyone liked me. I don't know about the other moms, but I feel like my diaper bag that I got, everyone was like, don't get a big diaper bag, don't get a big diaper bag, don't get it. I need a bigger diaper bag. So make sure you get a diaper bag that's big enough, especially if you're a pumping mom, because your pump's not gonna fit in it. You need diapers. Get a diaper bag that has lots of compartments, lots of insulation, Lots of room for your pump when you're traveling, whether it's with your LV or your Spectra, and lots of outfits. So diaper bags are definitely a must have and don't get, I know it might be tempting to get something that's really cute that you can wear on your arm, but make sure the diaper bag has a backpack because all of that goes out the window when you have a baby in your hand and you're trying to get in the car. Honestly, my favorite way to go out is having a fanny pack on my front and a diaper bag backpack on my back and then being able to hold my baby, grab my baby, get him out the car. When something's on your shoulder and you're just like lugging it around and it just, it's a mess. Get a diaper bag that is a backpack. And if you don't, you're gonna have a cute diaper bag and then you're gonna go back to the store and get a diaper bag with a backpack. So just, just get one with a backpack. Swaddle. I swaddled my son and he had a super big oral reflex and it helps him sleep longer and better. My baby just loves to cuddle, so having a swaddle is definitely a must have. I actually watched this video, which I will link and show you here, and it's the easiest, quickest way to learn how to swaddle very quickly and effectively, and there's so many different ways. Once you get the hang of it, it's just the best. It's honestly, like a little baby burrito. <laughs> Once you tuck under your baby's back on both sides and then knock the bottom or fold the bottom, it just keeps your baby snug. Your baby's been in utero and a nice warm womb for all these months. So the first two months for sure, 
Swaddling definitely changed the game for me. Gowns, gowns, this was another thing where some of you moms on YouTube, you guys liked me. Um, or you guys had opinions, I get it. You guys had opinions and I had my own. Um, so a lot of moms said that they hated gowns just because they were kind of just, there was just too much fabric. I personally love gowns because when you're changing in the middle of the night, it's just easy to unknot the gown and then just change change your baby's diaper. My favorite gowns are from Lulu. I will go link it here. But Lulu personally had my favorite gowns and it just makes night changes, night feedings. If your baby pees outside the diaper, it's just get gowns. Gowns are great for nighttime. My son still wears gowns and I love them. Okay, a lot of people are not gonna like this, but a Fisher Price swing. Everyone on YouTube. <laughs> told me the four moms is your baby either loves it or hates it. My baby actually didn't mind the four moms swing, but he would only stay in it for like 10 minutes. I love the four mom swing as a mom because it's compact, it blends in with my home aesthetic, it's easy to pick up and go. Now, I ended up traveling and I had a different swing that I was using and it was the Fisher Price swing and my baby takes naps in this swing. My baby will stay in this swing, swing for 30 minutes at a time. And once I got this swing, I realized that I had the wrong swing, which is the four mom swing in the beginning. This Fisher Price swing is something that I definitely needed to have in the beginning. Although the four moms, like I said, is sleek and clean. The Fisher Price definitely takes the cake as far as comfortability and just the duration that my son likes to sleep in it and he even takes naps. So I can do the dishes, I can run around and clean the house, he can be in a swing, be occupied, have fun with the music, um, with the mobile. He loves the swing. Bathtubs. I have three baby bathtubs. I have the little net bathtub, I have the OXO bathtub, and then I have this bathtub. This bathtub, I don't even know the name of it, but I will go ahead and show you here. This bathtub is the best, it's the greatest. When your baby is young and can't hold up his head, you have the angle, and then now my son likes to sit up on this side, and it's just the best. It has a little whale where the water goes through, and you can make sure that your baby stays warm, as well as this little squeezy cup that it just, this is the best bathtub that I've used. Only downside is it doesn't stay compact and you can't like slip it anywhere sleep into your bathroom or anything like that, like the OSO bathtub, but it does have something that you can hang, so you can just hang it on the edge of your shower, and it's just a great bathtub to have for your baby who is eventually gonna grow. The Waleda or Waleda body wash. This body wash is the only baby body wash that I have used that I actually like. I have tried a lot of the organic, eco-friendly, body washes and this is the only one that my baby's skin like. He does have a very sensitive skin just like me and just like his dad. So I am very cautious of what I put on my baby, but this has been the best baby products that I've found so far. So if your baby has sensitive skin and you guys use certain products, please let me know in the comments below because I'm always looking and willing to try out clean products for my son, but these baby products have been the best so far that I've tried out, and they're definitely must-haves. Bassinet, bassinet is a absolute must-have because one thing I would have done and I will do with my next child is put my baby in the bassinet ASAP. Um, my son quickly became a co-sleeper and a cuddler but this bassinet changed the game for me in the beginning because I used to literally take him everywhere in this bassinet and he used to take naps. I would get in the tub, he would be in his bassinet and it was easy to move. I did not opt to get a crib in the beginning because to be honest, nobody in my family's baby sleeps in a crib. So I was like, why am I gonna spend like 500, a thousand dollars, whatever the cost of cribs cost for something that my baby's not gonna even use. So. I definitely recommend, and I'm happy that my with my decision is starting out with a bassinet, especially something that was movable that I can move in the living room, my bedroom, or his bedroom, and keep a close eye on him. Getting something that can move is definitely something that definitely changed the game for us. The Mason bottle storage. I store all of my baby's milk in glass containers. It's just what I like to do, and I love the Mason bottle baby. I also had wheat sprout. Wheat sprout wasn't as good as far as the spillage went. I actually spilled three ounces of breast milk on the way traveling somewhere, and I wanted to cry because breast milk store, like I didn't have an oversupply. So 
get milk storage that is going to keep your milk in the container, otherwise you're gonna have a meltdown like I did. So Mason Bottle definitely has the best for spillage just because they have like a little silicone or little O shape that goes in between the glass as well as the top and it makes sure that everything stays inside the container and it, they're definitely my best, my favorite milk storage container. Some clothing, the Mebi onesies are some of my favorite, they're very thick. If you're in a colder climate or your house is a little bit colder, they're definitely some of my favorites. And then I love the Kite Baby. Kite Baby is great because they're kind of like the thin, breathable material that is good for if you're a hot sleeper and my baby's also a hot body. So between Kite, Mebi, and Lulu, those are kind of like my favorites as far as nighttime or even daytime clothes. Another thing I will say is only get zippers, do not get buttons. I don't care how cute the outfit is, do not get buttons because when it's the middle of the night and you're trying to change your baby or if you're at the stage where your baby is kicking and is very active, trying to button like six or 10 or 12 or 20 buttons on a baby is not something that I wanted to do in the middle of the night, let alone in the middle of the day when I'm changing diapers every 30 minutes or every hour. Um, just buttons are a big no for me. Some people might like buttons. I personally detest buttons. So make sure, especially when it comes to pajamas, you're getting something that zips because it just will make your life so much easier. Better yet, the two zippers. Kite and Mevi both make the double zipper where your baby can still be warm up top, but then have the legs out in the bottom because there's two different zippers. The double zippers are like a, a plus plus. Zippers are A, double zippers are A plus plus. Next will be my nursing pillow or pregnancy pillow. So when you're nursing, um, you might think a regular pillow is gonna do you justice, but getting a nursing pillow, the moon pillow specifically, was great for me because it was able to contour towards my body where I was able to rest my shoulder or rest my baby's head and be comfortable. This just is something that you don't, or that I personally didn't really think was a big deal. And I soon noticed that this was something that was gonna change my life. Another thing that was great for me is a pregnancy pillow because I was able to kind of put it on my back and then put it on my baby, and I was able to move it in whatever way was most comfortable for me, whether that be night feeds or nap time, and things like that. But definitely the Snuggle Me Moon Nursing Pillow. Next is a changing mat. I like to be very clean. So when I'm out in public um, and I have to change my son, this mat is a game changer because it's something that you can wipe down and it's something that's compact that will fit into your diaper bag and it's just great. I mean, this mat is super multifunctional, so you can even use it when your baby's eating out in public and you can wipe it off, wipe it down, put it in your diaper bag, and then 20 minutes later when you need to change your baby, you can go ahead and use it as a changing mat as well. This is just super functional and it's compact, and that's kind of what I've learned as a first time mom, is you want things that are double use, or even if it is a single use, that it's something compact and easy to travel with. And it's definitely, this mat is a game changer when I'm out and about and I need to change or feed my son. And I'm talking about feeding my son when he gets of age where he's eating actual foods, where you can put it on the table at a restaurant, wipe it down, and then put it in your diaper bag. And then if you need to change him while you're out and about, you can also use it for a changing table as well. And having a baby will make you reconsider every single cleaning product you have in your home. And I just love these dress wipes. My baby came out just with the nails, with hair, with everything. And it was very traumatic for me to try to clip my newborn baby's nails. And this nail clipper just makes it easy because you can peek and see exactly what you're doing. Nursing bras. I did not have a nursing bra. I was so underprepared for breastfeeding and nursing my son. But a nursing bra that is comfortable, that you like, is so important. I actually have had, I only had two nursing bras in the beginning and I got them both from Amazon. I invested a little bit more money into my nursing bra and that's where I was like, ugh, I feel like I'm wearing a regular bra and I feel secure. So I have three different nursing bras that I like this one that I have here is more so for fashion purposes because it kind of looks like something that you can just wear 
as a top or something that you can wear under shirts. This one right here is probably the ugliest one, but it's the best one for holding the pump. And then I have this one here that actually feels like a regular bra, but it's also great for pumping as well as nursing. And then I just got this one, and this one is great for and feeling like you're secure, but then also great for pumping as well as nursing. It might seem like a lot of bras, but you know bras, I feel like the comfortability of your bra changes so much when you breastfeed because it needs to be comfortable, it needs to be functional, and it also needs to hold your pump in place in a way that feels secure. Meditation music. Meditation music is a definite must because it just helps my son sleep much more peacefully and also longer durations. When it's quiet in his room and I would put him down, if he would hear a crack, in the kitchen, he would wake up, but when I play meditation music with him in his room all the time, it just was able to help him sleep longer and also not be so sensitive to sound. Monitor. So we use the outlet and it's just the greatest monitor. I did not want a monitor. I felt weird that a camera was gonna be looking at my son while he slept, but then I soon realized that I would be doing the dishes and then going in and checking on him every five minutes and that actually would wake him up. So I did get a monitor and it definitely changed the game. And I only tried one, which was the outlet and we love it. This clock is the greatest, especially when your baby is not sleeping through the night because you can, you don't have, I personally don't like to sleep with my phone or any technology in our room. And it was really hard for me in the beginning because I wanted to calculate his feedings or see how long he's been up. And having this clock with a projector definitely changed the whole game because I was able to see if my son was actually hungry or just uncomfortable, especially when I was kind of trying to wean him off of night feeds. It makes it easier because when you need to know what time it is, all you have to do is look up versus looking in the bed for your phone. Essential oil. So in my son's room, part of the mood and the ambiance is I let the diffuser burn. At night, I'll burn like lavender or sage. And in the rising, I will burn grapefruit or some type of citrus. My son loves smell and is very sensitive to the smell and very receptive to smell. And it's definitely something that's been able to put him in a mood. I've tried to correlate different scents for different moods. So when he smells lavender, he kind of knows like, this is when I'm winding down. This is when I'm going to sleep and it's just something that I love to do. So this tummy time mat as well as the little rainbow is was one of his favorites when he was younger. He's kind of outgrown it at this point, but this tummy time mat and this little rainbow, I call it a rainbow. It just, I love it, it's easy. I can put other toys in it and it's very easy to travel with. This seat, this seat I love because I just put it on the counter, I could cook, I could clean, and he's just there occupied with his toys. And I love this because you can actually make it turn into different things. Once again, the mom functionality and the grow with me type of products are my favorite. You can take the toy off, I can feed him in this, and I can even take the whole thing off so that he has room to just watch what I'm doing, which he loves because he's very inquisitive of all the things that I do when I'm cooking, and he just is very receptive and loves to kind of just see what's going on. This has been great and it's something that my mom suggested that I had. It was one thing that definitely made my life a lot more easier when he started gaining more independence, but also wanted to be occupied with toys and also watch what I was doing. I kind of was in the headspace of just always wearing him on my body. And then when I got this, I was like, okay, it's giving him independence. I'm hands-free and I don't have him on me where I feel any type of restriction and it was just something that he loved. So next I'm going to talk about a few things for me for mom for breastfeeding mom is coconut water, sea moss, dates, and green boost. So the sea moss is great because it has all of your essential vitamins and minerals and your baby is just going to love it through breast milk obviously. And then coconut water is great for lactation and you're not having just empty calories. One thing that was hard for me is when I was obsessively drinking water to try to increase my milk production. Yes, I was hydrating, but I had no calories in my hydration. You know when you get like water headaches because you're drinking too much water? Having coconut water really comes in clutch just because you're drinking water with vitamins and nutrients with a calorie intake as well. And coconut water is great for lactation. Dates, every single time my baby had to use the bathroom, I would just eat a few dates or make date bars or date balls or anything like that. 
and my baby would do what he has to do. And they're a great source of fiber, and they're a natural sugar. It took me a while to get to a point where I can eat dates by itself, but making a date oatmeal bar or using a date syrup in your oatmeal and the rising is definitely something that I needed. And it was a natural way that my baby would use the bathroom. All right, y'all, so that's it for my video and all of my favorites. As I've grown in motherhood, I just really frequently think about other moms. I was very grateful to have most of all of these things actually gifted to me through my baby shower. And because of all of the things that I mentioned in this video are things that I actually love and I would use and I would buy, I, in this video, wanted to gift somebody one of every single product that I mentioned in this video. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I also wanted time to actually use these products and test them out. So for this video, I will be giving all moms moms focusing more on single moms or moms of multiple kids just because some of these products not might be accessible to you because of price point or because of priorities that you might have elsewhere and for all of the support that all of you guys have given me throughout my journey of hair and business and fashion and fitness and now motherhood i wanted to gift you some of my favorite products for me and my family so for this giveaway, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. I have to figure out how I'm gonna do this, but I think what would be best is I've been connecting with people via Instagram through DM or even in my comments down below. I'm doing this giveaway and I wanna wrap it up within seven days of this video being live. So please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next upload. Bisous!